we're back, jewelry lovers. Um, once again, Vicki, back into the jewelry world. I went through, and these were right together, so I'll pull them up first. Here is a pair of earrings. These are very um, thin. These are actually wooden. I thought they were plastic at first, but they're wooden, and they're painted yellow. But here's a pair of cute springy earrings. <clears throat> Here's another pair that were together and I'll go ahead and show you the pair. I am not sure about these. I think someone made them because I've never seen someone use the ball of the earring wire quite like that before. But it looks like a spade and a diamond hanging down here at the bottom. There is a pair. So if someone plays cards and they would like to have some lucky earrings here, sell them to you real cheap. <laughs> now here is something I just pulled out and I absolutely love. Uh, no signs of uh, purity, no signs of a hallmark. Um, we've only had one hallmark so far and that was the Avon from the first video, but I love these crystal um, rhinestone earrings. I would definitely wear those to the grocery store, to a doctor's appointment, <laughs> anywhere you need to go. You set your, your own trends. Okay. Here's another one that's a, a little bit uh, different. It's not pearls. It's a drop. Um, no signs of purity. But it's got a milky little stone down here with some rhinestones around it and then some gray up top here and gray down at the bottom. Uh, marquee cut. And then right in the center it looks like there's a little yellowish amber colored stone. I like these too, but these would be a little bit more dressier if I was, you know, going out to dinner somewhere. I'm trying to see what I have here. I have any notes or anything Here's a cute little earring. Just a regular post. No signs of purity. But it's one of these little, some people call them crystal balls. Some people call them disco balls. Um, but it's just a little ball that has crystals in it all the way around. I see that it is missing a couple of the crystals. Um, however, I can tell you that I have a plethora of crystals in different colors that I can use to, um, to fix that. So um, if I find it's buddy, then um, I will try to fix it. Here's a cute little purple faux pearl change from a regular cream colored. And here, no purity, no hallmarks. Some pale pink, maybe in an S design or a swirl. But I think the pale pink is very pretty. Hoping it has a, a friend too. Here is a vintage screwback, and I believe this one's bent up a little bit. It's damaged, and like I said, I hesitate to tug or pull on it. Now, it has all of its crystals, and the two pearls are intact, so if I find its buddy, I will try to repair it. It is a, a cute little earring. It's screwback. Here is, I bet this is meant to be uh, a tie tack, but maybe not. It's got an earring back on it. There's no signs of purity. Ooh, that's very wobbly. That's about to break. Um, there is a stone, a faceted stone that has a little anchor that slides down over the front. The stone slides right in. The point of it is right here. 
and then you've got the little anchor on the front that's a cute earring however that back is very very wobbly it's it's not gonna um make it i'm gonna make a prediction <laughs> it's not gonna make it here's a cute little earring i was always partial to studs and um now i find i have problems with them when i sleep at night or i'm on the phone the studs will dig into my um back behind my ear and um i i don't tolerate it anymore so i normally wear but this is cute to wear for something for a few hours during the day or for um a special occasion or an event um, but then i would have to take it off before i went to bed here's a clip earring There is a stone missing, silver tone, no marks of any kind. Here's a silver tone half hoop. The back is missing, no signs of any purity marks. Here is, did we have one of these already? We had so many different pearls so far, I don't see. Here's a screw back. It's a clip and a screw back. So I guess for comfort, you um, clip it open, adjust the screw. There are no names on it, no purity marks. This is just a cute little pearl and a drop. Simple. And everything so far has been faux. I had thought that the one pearls were real, but, um, yeah, not so much. Cute little, another cute little pearl drop. No signs of any kind on it. Okay, here's a cute little red stud. If we find the mate for that, I will give it to my five-year-old granddaughter. I've been giving her a lot of earrings, and um, she's um, not too happy with them. She just wanted to keep the ears, the earrings in that she had in. Now here's a little, little bit worse for the wear. It's a little chain hoop, gold tone. The back fits onto the. I'm not seeing anything written on the post or on the back of the earring, so I'm not seeing any signs of purity. I was hoping because this ear stud did look like it was gold tone. Cute little ear hoop here, just in chain. Delicate. Here are some more pearl studs. Bigger one, smaller one. No purity marks. Hanging pearl on ear wire. Here's a cute earring. None of the crystals are missing. They're all here. Gold tone. But I'm going to say that looks like a big old baked potato with crystals in it. What y'all think? <laughs> Does it look like a baked potato? Y'all have to let me know. Here's another, <clears throat> this is kind of heavy, no, no words on it, gosh that backing looks like sterling silver though, very tarnished, no crystals missing, no pearls missing, it's a big earring, mm -hmm. that is heavy too, here's a silver tone half hoop 
and I was looking because it looks like those little, I got one the other day, it looks like a glass pendant that has a little mustard seed in. However, this one has no mustard seed in. It's just a little glass flat back charm on there. It's cute. There's a cute little crystal earring that's supposed to look like maybe a climber on your ear. I love those earrings, but I have yet to find a pair. And the prices are so expensive, I just refuse. Now this one has something on the back of it. It's got two circles. And in one circle, there's a C, so I guess that stands for copyright. And then the other circle... Almost looks like a G. I can't tell what the other little thing is. Can you see the two marks in there? One is a C, and then one is the one that's closest to the post. I can't tell what it is. I know it's always hard when um, you ladies put it up to get the right angle. I'm trying to move it around a little bit. The markings are showing up. It's just you can't tell what they are. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so you're in the same boat I'm in. You can't tell what the markings are. So I will have to search for that one later on. Look at that later on and see if I can figure out what that one mark is. Okay, here is um, this is a heavy little earring for as small as it is. There's no name on it, no purity marks, but it's um, three little crystals in the center and then some pearls around the outside. Like I said, this is pretty heavy for an, uh, as little as it is, an earring. It's a gold tone. Here is a little silver tone earring with some little circles hanging down. It's a cute little earring. Of course, I'm saying everything is cute, but, but they are cute. Okay. Not real. <laughs> I did it after I said I wasn't going to. Here we have a faux pearl, and it's got two little, maybe like leaves, swirling up the side, and there's little tiny crystals in those leaves. Uh, that's a very cute earring. Um, I hope I find its um, friend, um, because that is a, a cute little earring. Here's a little flower peach toned with the crystal on the inside. Another faux pearl stud. Today is the day of the pearls. Okay, here's a little teeny tiny microscopic bow. That would be cute for a little girl, too. So if it has a friend, I will clean it up and give it to my five-year-old granddaughter. Little crystal ear stud. Silver tone. Is that the same as the first one you saw? I think they're all different sizes. Here. No. Okay. Close, but no cigar. <clears throat> of course, I've heard that come the fall, it's going to be in style to wear mismatched earrings and long dangly earrings, which I can wear some long dangly earrings um, and some mismatched ones. I don't have any issues with that. There are some earrings that I have that I have lost one and have a similar one, so we'll all just be in trend. And here's a piece of an earring. There's no hook. Now we don't want 
on 15. Okay. Let me pull out a couple more things. Let me see if I can pull out a chain on my necklace or something. Okay. Here is a chain and it has no. So I'm guessing it's just a cheap. It's very lightweight too, so maybe it's aluminum. Uh, we have a mate, and this one does not have any markings either, but this was one that I said if I found its friend, I think I said I might keep this set. Here's the two. I know before anybody says anything, I know I have tiny hands and tiny fingers. My entire family tells me that I have baby hands and feet as well too. I wear a size five ring <laughs> and a size four, four and a half, five shoe. Here's a cute little heart earring. Um, no signs of purity, no um, hall markings. It's got crystals in it. I think um, anybody, an adult woman, a child, a teenager would like this earring. I think it's kind of universal. Here's a pretty one. This is like a knot. I'm going to check to see if it has all of its crystals. It does. I'm amazed. It doesn't have a back. Um, but here's a gold tone knot with lots of little crystals on there. Does it throw a flash? It should. <laughs> That's very pretty. I'm hoping that we find the mate to that one. This is gunmetal. This is my first gunmetal. And this almost looks like a little twig with a couple of little AB crystals in there. And by the way, I love Aurora Borealis. Um, my sister is a touchstone um, jewelry um, representative. And touchstone is Swarovski. And they have started their company several years back of Swarovski Crystal Jewelry. Cute little drop stud with some crystals in there. I hope it has a, let's see if it has all of its crystals. Yes. I don't know if I'm seeing just marks in the metal or if there's actually a word in there. I have found some earrings that say Monet around the post and I don't know if that's what I'm seeing or not so I'll have to look that one up afterwards too. My eyes are 56 years old and sometimes they don't see as good as they used to when they were 25. <clears throat> this one is gold tone. Now, the back says 925. Um, however, having said that, I do not think this earring is 925. I'm, I'm checking the stem of it. But it's gold tone. It has two itty bitty little crystals in there and then the pearl at the bottom. Um, at any rate, um, I've got a lot of little earrings laid out here that fell out of the jar. It's like the, the whole top half of this jar is nothing but earrings. So I'm going to show one more earring and then I pulled some necklaces out and so I'll show you those. Um, while we were having just a, a minute of technical difficulty, um, I untangled some necklaces. So. Here's an earring. There are no purity marks on it, no marks at all. However, I would not be afraid to bet that this is sterling silver. And it sort of looks like uh, Middle Eastern um, Indian design to me. Isn't that cute? It's almost like a little, I can't think of the word that I want to call it right now. 
but um, this very much puts me in the mind of a sterling silver uh, earring and these little beads are very festive I know that Thelma Thrift always talks about the costume um, jewelry for whenever they have their events and this might be something that um, is along those lines but I like that and if I have the friend in here I will definitely wear these okay something that popped right out is a bracelet that is crocheted in gold thread on the inside and then each one of these adornments on here are buttons and it stretches pretty good um, I don't know that I would wear it um, I have a small wrist and it would probably fit I just don't know if I could um, uh, those buttons aren't exactly my style um, but at any rate um, if uh, I'm sure there's somebody out there who likes it and if it's one of you give me a call we can work something out here's another bracelet there are no markings on this whatsoever but it has this little clasp and I thought at first that I was looking at some kind of brushed pewter oh wait I'm telling a fib right there it says something designs M W designs maybe it looks like an M and the downward part of the M is the one part of the W um, but it, it definitely says design after that other word or letters but it's very cute let's see which end comes undone all of this was um, tangled up and that coin bracelet was like at the center I'm not going to get it undone right now things like that um, if my fingers didn't allow me to do it I'm just going to skip over but you can see the bracelet it does have a name on it something design MW or something along those lines I like that as well too here's another bracelet and at first I thought what but it's got this I don't know if this is like one of the popcorn links. It's kind of flexible. So it helps you just put it on and roll it over your hand like that. Now I have a small wrist. Um, it's about a, a six and a half, six and three quarter. Um, once again, baby hands, baby bones. Um, and someone had taped over this bead right here which when I took the tape off and it was painted uh, like a brushed gold when I took the tape off you can see these beautiful uh, moon glow beads um, I didn't even know what moon glow beads were until I started watching these jewelry jar um, uh, videos but I absolutely love these beads and if it had more I would take it apart and repurpose oh these little ones are uh, moon glow as well too pretty I like that here is remember a few minutes ago I thought that that earring was one of those glass pendants with a mustard seed in well here we have a cross and you can see the mustard seed and the little bit of the dried leafy part um, of the stem I guess from the mustard seed and it's on a, a gold tone necklace and a gold back cross uh, there are no purity marks on anything here but um, I um, really like that I think it's very pretty here's another chain that was tangled up and I would have sworn this was sterling silver it's got that nice tarnish it's a nice dark chain there's nothing on it but it's a very pretty chain with a spring ring clasp no markings whatsoever but I really think it's sterling silver and I also think I need to get my uh, behind in gear and get my acid testing um, kit so that um, I can test this stuff when I think but I'm not sure uh, this one has no marks no tags but I think it's a very cute ne necklace. It's a two 
chain. On the shorter chain is a little flower. Then on the longer chain, you have a, what looks like a dove with the pearl hanging on the bottom. And then you have a um, leaf with crystals on it. Let's see if there's, all the crystals are there. So I think that's pretty. Um, no purity marks, but um, I think it is a, a nice little necklace. Here's a necklace I bet someone made. It's magnetic for one thing. And I have used these magnets before. And then it's on um, bead stringing. And here you have the uh, what looks like silver um, curved <laughs> tubes, beads, a couple little nice looking beads. And then these down here at the bottom are actually either magnesite, which I think they're magnesite, or halite. Um, but they are a stone that a lot of people use to imitate um, turquoise, which everybody in our group already knows that. Um, I just wanted to let everybody know that I knew that as well, too. <laughs> now here is sort of a cute necklace. It has itty bitty little faceted silver beads in between. But I like those shades, the solid uh, lime green and the clear and the silver. And it sort of puts me in the mind of a Mardi Gras necklace, but not quite. There's no clasp that I can see. I'm looking to see if it has one of those plastic clasps. And I don't see it, but it just goes right over your head. I don't know that you could... Nope couldn't do it twice unless you have a really small head and I have a small head but it would not go twice over me and yep I got one of these puka shell necklaces just like everyone else did um, my shell necklace has little itty bitty look like almost look like little bits of uh, a darker shell in between there they almost look like a little teeny tiny baby snail shell, but they're not. And here you go, that obligatory shell. And this little pendant fell out. Uh, there's no markings on it, but it is a basketball, I do believe. So if anybody who uh, is just dying for a basketball pendant um, that you know, now you know where to get one. Now, we're going to reach down here in the jar, and I saw this from the outside, um, and I said, okay, there's like 25, and I'm not exaggerating, there might even be more, of different pendants. This one says, North Texas Irish Festival. I don't know what that bottom word is. F E I S F E L S. But it's in a cross form. I don't know if this has something to do with college or religion, since it's a cross, maybe a Catholic school or a Catholic college. I'm not sure. Then we have one pendant that says Ireland. I'm thinking maybe on their travels somebody purchased all of these. So let's see where this person traveled to. We're already talking Texas and Ireland. This one says Texas State Championship FEIS. Okay, so that's either school or college, something to do with sports, but uh, maybe a um, Catholic school. Not sure. So now we have two Texas already. Here's New Mexico State, F-E-I-S. We need to find out what F-E-I-S stands for. My photographer, I think, is going to look that up. And this one has little ballet slippers on it. So maybe it's like um, uh, uh, something to do with the mini Olympics or um, athletics or something along those lines. That's New Mexico. 
Here's another one, New Mexico State, F-E-I-S, with the ballerina slippers on there. This one is just this. It doesn't say anything. It just has a cross on it um, as a design on the inside. Of the Irish Dance Competition. What's the F stand for? No, the term F-E-I-S is commonly used referring to Irish dance competitions and, in Scotland, to immersive teaching courses specializing in traditional music and culture. Okay, so you heard that from my dictionary. Um, these all have to do with um, dancing. Here's some more ballet slippers. I bet you some mother kept these from her kids... Um, and it looks like they excelled at dancing and, um, maybe mom passed away and these got donated to Salvation Army and that one had a harp on it. This one says New Mexico and then that dancing signal again, or, um, the word for the dancing and the slippers. This one says Ireland. So we've got two Irelands. That's a place that my daughter and I would like to visit. Here's another one with a um, harp on it. North Texas Irish Festival. So once again, we this is the second one of this one that we have. If anybody is seeing any of these that um, they think, oh my gosh, I know somebody who did that and um, they would love these pendants, um, I'll cut you a deal. There's still a bunch of them in here. How are we on time? 13 minutes. Okay. I'm just going to lay the rest of these pendants up there. They all, let me make sure they all have to do with um, dancing and Ireland and... Um, it's pronounced fesh. Fesh. So fesh is what that word is. There is a lot of these things here. Col Colorado Winterfish. Don't they look like poker chips? I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know what poker chips look like. They just seem to me like they look like poker chips, except for these <laughs> cross-shaped ones. I'm bad, sorry. Mm -hmm. Oh, did you see that spring over there like that? I'm glad I wasn't in its way. I'd take my eye out with that thing. No, How many of it. you heard that while you were growing up? What's the time? I, 14. Okay. <clears throat> All right. This one, I'm looking for any signs of purity because I make jewelry and, you know, the silver jewelry wire that I use does not have any markings on it so unless you actually put something on it it you'd be hard put to um, prove that it was 925 silver or argentium or you know gold filled because I've got some um, argentium back there and I've got some gold filled both and neither one of them are marked but this is a cute little choker neck wire whatever you want to call it and i think it might be stainless steel or it could be silver i don't know but someone has pounded that to give it strength and shaped it and put these little hooks so that it'll stay around your neck <laughs> yeah i think i'm going to clean that up and either shauna or myself will be wearing that in the future we never fight over anything, though. We know we can take turns. It's here. This little necklace um, I have on right here is actually uh, vintage black glass beads. And um, the one side of the thing was broken, and I put a magnetic clasp on it. And, um, and I said to her, you know where it's at if you um, need it for work, etc., etc., 
And by the way, my photographer, of course, my daughter, uh, has been a stay-at-home mom. I tell everybody I'm a stay-at-home grandma. But she's been a stay-at-home mom for five years, and she's wanting to get back out into the workforce again. So she's looking. And looking for work is very hard and very tedious. I know I wouldn't want to have to do it again after being out of work. Um, I last worked in 2010, August 2010, and um, at that time went off on disability. Here's a really cute necklace. No purity marks. No, I'm not seeing any tags. I'm thinking it's definitely vintage. Um, but, you know, I could be wrong. It's happened before. Probably happened again. Start out with, like, neck choker length. And then you go down to, um, there's one... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven chains here. And I like these, but doggone if I don't get these boogers all tangled up. There we go. Isn't that pretty? Well, and this one's still tangled up. There we go. Isn't that pretty? Just something simple, but the layers give it dimension and a little bit of class. I think so, anyhow. I'm going to put this off to the side here so it doesn't get tangled. Pick for something else here. I've got a little bit of a tangled mess here, so while she's doing that, I'm going to try to untangle something here real quick. I've got a black cord that seems to have a hold of everything. I feel for you ladies when um, you come across these um, tangles and I said to my daughter one day I do not seem to get not near the tangles that these ladies get. I get some tangles but I don't get a lot. Now what's causing the tangle over here is something from American Eagle. Murphy's Law, now that you're filming the videos they're going to be all tangled. Yep. Yep. Doggone Murphy. Doggone Murphy and his laws. Okay, now let's see if we can do this. Um, I'm not even sure if this is the same thing, to be honest with you. Ah, uh, nope, look at that. Now this <laughs> is a simple little necklace. This is what is the um, American Eagle. It is two little suede strands and I guess it's a choker a bow on the bottom and three little beads on top and you know what that is kind of cute I have a couple chokers back there that I wear but I'm not sure if I would wear this one um, it's really thin so I'm not sure let me lay that there and here's this other black thing that was really causing the problem look at this and this is one of these that you actually can wrap around your neck like a scarf several times make like a little choker out of it <laughs> oh that's too short at any rate and then you just let this hang down on the sides i know i'm not sure who came up with that design but um, it's definitely the easy way out. But this has two little, or you know what, maybe that's a belt. I don't know. Maybe it's a belt. I think it would even fit my waist. But there's just two little pearl drops on the end of this faux, it's almost like a felt. Not quite sure what that is. How are we on time? 20. So are we, we going to go longer or what are we going to do? Um, <clears throat> yeah, we can stop it and pick up okay. another video. All right. We're going to bring this little bit to a close here. And um, uh, remember, 
um, hit the like and subscribe and then hit the bell so that you get um, any of my um, 150 videos for this one jar. <laughs> I promise you, we're going to get through the jar. And just to end it for a second, here's another American Eagle Outfitter necklace in shades of purple and crystal. And this one has cute little square beads, round beads, oblong beads. This is really cute, heart-shaped beads. I would wear this. This is really cute. And you, you see that tag. All right. See you in the next one. Bye.